boy who ought to be attached to your uncle as to your father. And so I am. Mark this, and come what will of it, I will fight the man who pretends the hand of Nora Brady. I'll follow him if it's into the church and fight him there. I'll have his blood or he'll have mine. Two, three. The boy must go into hiding just for a short time anyway. And now I'm afraid we must get on to the more regrettable stage of our brief acquaintance. to me and your service to the regiment has pleased me very well. And now there's another occasion on which you may make yourself useful to us. Naturally, your knowledge of English makes you an ideal choice to go into his service and to find out for us whether or not he is a spy. Does this assignment interest you? <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Barry. Have you done with my lady? Though I cannot say how. I believe you have cheated me. My father was Sir Charles Linden. I have not forgotten you, if others have. I think, Sir Charles Linden, that you've had too much to drink. He, he wants to step into my shoes! Madam, you and your son have almost succeeded in destroying a fine family fortune. I shall not rest until I see you, Lord Linda. What a pity it is I am not dead for your sake. My well, Lord Bullingdon, do you not like your new father? Not very much. He seems to me little more than a common opportunist. Mr. Redmond Barry, the last occasion on which we met, you wantonly caused me injury and dishonor. I have now come to claim that satisfaction. Mr. Redmond Barry, 